whole cloud app ecosystem, so now maybe we will see more about the apps and the ecosystem of how the own cloud operates yeah. and what did the community do for the, the own cloud. Yeah, so and uh, we will uh, we will narrate a story for our users. Like, for example, we have apps like Notes and Tasks. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Draw dot IO, uh, Image oh, Weaver, PDF Weaver, uh, Only Office. So we have like two, four, five, five uh, um, apps that we're going to see. Yeah. So we will uh, discuss through the uh, slides, like okay. how how people can collaborate and how people can have a more uh, people can work in a team and get more productivity done, get more things done using own cloud. So, like if you have a notes application or an off, uh, office application, you can take down meeting notes. You can create a task list, a draw flow diagram, share with other users to collaborate. Jointly work on. Jointly work time, on. Uh, so let, let's say like if you start some project, some software project is to be started. Yeah. Then you conduct meetings initially to discuss what needs to be done, how we go about it, yeah. how to proceed. So that's where notes application would come in. You take down notes, you share with others, let other users add their okay. own uh, meeting minutes and action items, right? And once the meeting is done, you set tasks like, okay, person A, you go and uh, research about this thing. Person yeah. B, you look up, look up, uh, you maybe you study how to write the code of yeah. for this application and uh, right. So the notes also it helps you while on the meeting, someone can keep the you notes. Know, yeah, notes. can write the notes uh, mm -hmm. during the meeting, and if someone has to add something later, like for example, you. You uh, you think that I missed out some mm -hmm. point from the meeting? You later can go to the same same note you which I have shared it. with it. You can edit it. Oh, okay. So no need to you know like send an email, attach a file, yeah, and yeah. Uh, so no going back and forth. Yeah. Just update on the go. Like it's we very need frequent updates. Very convenient. Very convenient. Yeah. So and then you create some action items to give task, and you can share the task list with other members. And uh, once you are start you are starting your uh, your let's say software project okay. you are creating a software project and the first thing a software uh, developer would have to do a team leader have to would have to do is create a software architecture diagram yeah so draw.io is a very powerful tool which lets user create drawings as simple as a roadmap okay. to you know like flow diagrams and complex software architecture diagrams it is very easy to use has an intuitive design dashboard and like it just brought to your imagination uh, how yeah. you want to use it yeah <laughs> And once you have done that, once you have created an architecture diagram, you just export it as a PDF or an image and then you share this file with other team members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one thing about draw.io that I forgot to mention that when you are drawing and you want other team members to uh, you know, add some things in that drawing, mm -hmm. then you can just simply share that draw.io file with other users. You give other user access to edit that file okay. and multiple users can edit the same diagram at the same oh, time okay. but if you don't want to do that if you don't want the other users to make changes then you export it as an image or you export it as a pdf so and share it with other user so that other user has access to uh, that drawing as yeah. a pdf and uh, you know as an image and then you can take uh, polls and get feedback from other users like what they think about this yeah. software how do, you, do they think it's good it's going to work not going to work you can take polls and you know so get, feedback, get feedback yeah get feedback get comments and just improve uh, your software as it develops yeah, yeah. and there is an, one uh, another uh, last step like once you are done with all these things you want to kick off the project and you want to you know have marketing and stuff that's where only office comes into picture it lets you create documents spreadsheets and presentation slides so Very useful. So this was like, say, for example, you, as you mentioned, like you did the drawing, you did the PDF, you got the result polls, and now mm -hmm. everyone is going to work on the same project. Yeah. So we have the only office. Only where office, and uh, all the documents can be shared with uh, yeah. all the team members. Yeah, very, very the marketing team will need this for you know creating presentations for yeah, this website. Is a, like a case study. <laughs> yeah. So that's the whole story, like you know, from soft, from initiation ideation yeah. of a software to its release. And not working on it. Not working on it. Own cloud let helps you with all of these things. Mm. So you don't have to go to any other, you know, software or a service for having uh, this kind of thing. So, so I guess now we will see another demonstration video. Yeah, we will app. see a quick demonstration on how we can collaborate in a team. a team. Yeah. So let's say we have. 
that's for example we doing all these files we are uh, uploading all these files say from the QNAP NAS mm -hmm. so we have everything in this centralized as a storage but we want to use the uh, cloud and use these apps so every file that for example the PDF we can also another PDF could be not the one with the drawing but say for example you drew it earlier mm -hmm. you can also and you have it in, say, in your file station, in our QTS, in the QNAP NAS, and you can upload it directly to the own cloud, and that the PDF can be seen by the whole team members. This is also a team collaboration. Yeah, we can also do that, but uh, currently I'm not aware of how, uh, you know, how to transfer from uh, our NAS QTS, NAS QTS file system to own cloud. Mm -hmm. But user can all obviously do that by, you know, uh, like let's say they download it to their local station and then yeah. they upload it back again. Yeah, it's just like that. I was saying like that. So to upload it again, download yeah. it and then upload it again. Yeah. So because different user groups have different restrictions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was I was saying about that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's very useful. So, yeah, this is a uh, draw.io. As you can see, it lets you have a lot of features. You have so many uh, different applications UML which is generally used for mm -hmm. you know, software architecture and a lot of options like just and it's a very easy drag and drop uh, dashboard sure. right so you can create a user and uh, it's it's very easy yeah, you just move the yeah and let's say this is start and this is release so you can create you know all the all those things like for example this is a software diagram for some software architecture, I mean, <laughs> actual software architecture won't look like this. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So I save it, and once it is saved, I go back to file station, or I could share it within from within the application as well. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I have already shared it with Bruce Wayne. Let's say I have want to share it with Peter Parker. Then. And yeah. it is shared, and uh, shared. we can. See, I can let Bruce Wayne share it further, but I don't want Peter. I don't trust Peter Parker, okay. <laughs> so I, I will not give him the sharing rights. I I just give him the editing rights, okay. and he has it. So now let's try and let's go to and uh, we'll go incognito, okay. so that other user can log in. Mm -hmm. Let's say Peter. Peter Parker. You know the password, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait. I know the password to all superheroes accounts. <laughs> yeah, and see, you can see uh, the software diagram here, which was not seen earlier. Yeah. Right. And because you gave the permission, and now you are able to edit as well. Yeah, right? I am able to edit now. Peter can see what changes he has done. Peter this can is a add. Useful app. Yeah, Peter can add anything, and then you can click save can and you can edit it. But as uh, you know, as you know, we restricted him for not sharing it further. So yeah, let's see if we. Oh no. Yeah, so you cannot do it. Sharing. Sharing, sharing is not allowed. Oh, yeah. so good admin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, let's try. Uh, let's try some more thing. Like if I let's try this again. So this now, is the draw. Right? Yeah, this is one. Uh, for the draw. IO, draw, IO, draw right? IO. So this was not shared with Peter previously. As you can see, there is no uh, new diagram here, mm -hmm. but uh, there is no new diagram here. So now I just shared it with him. So now you can see it's it's that easy. It happens immediately. Like immediately you shared, and you can see like what are the things that are shared with you, and what are the things that you shared with others, right? So all those things, all this activity is available right here, right at your fingertips. Uh, it's all there yeah and it's very yeah, easy once once this diagram is done you uh, share it with other people other people and you know you can create polls uh, for taking feedback oh there's the notes and the polls yeah, yeah. So all the apps are there already so uh, oh, yeah. there's someone voting yeah someone so this was this vote. was already created for some yeah. reason and then you know I can uh, create another poll yeah. Let's say create another pool. There, the plus. So, yeah. do you like the diagram? So we can say drawn using using own cloud, cloud. Okay. draw. Yeah. 
right? Uh, and we can set when by let's say by tomorrow, all users and anonymous. I just okay. create a poll. Registered users only. Click on the sales. Oh, okay. Okay. So registered users and schedule. And okay. You know. Expiration date maybe. Okay. When you want to expire tomorrow. Let's say ten days. Okay. All right. So and create a poll. Click on the service to return. Okay. Let's say. Okay. So yes. I like it a lot. No, maybe need improvement. Okay. Mm -hmm. and so we basically know the idea of how yeah. this is going to be created. So you just have a, a poll, use the poll option, create, set the question, the description of the poll, and just click create, and then create the and, and we saw how it looks like by the previously yeah, created ones. Yeah. Uh, and you can share it with other users and whoever uh, you know whoever votes like it or not like it and you know you get a com yeah. comprehensive study of how your app is doing like if it gets a lot of negative votes then you redo it if it gets like let's say more than 75 percent positive votes then you don't need to redo it you like go further with it so it's basically an analysis of you know how good or how bad your drawing is or uh, you know you can do this for not just for drawing but it's all the other it's not a free drawing like you have yeah. uh, things to just drag and drop because if it's with free hand you can see that you're really yeah <laughs> like most of the people yeah that's that's true and not just restricted to not just limited to that you can have polls for uh, all all kind of sorts of things you know you need analytics you need uh, what your employees want like mm -hmm. let's say if you are planning a company outing and then you want uh, do you want to go to restaurant a or do you want to go to a japanese restaurant or something well, like you can that. use that you can use polls well, and also only if a certain user group wants to do it they can do it for themselves yeah, yeah. so you know no need to be exposed to yeah. all the other <laughs> groups no, otherwise everyone has to know it yeah <laughs> So marketing team can go on a holiday, yeah. but uh, <laughs> developers don't have to know about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that would be fun. Yeah, so it's very easy, and it's uh, you know you can just simply share it with other users, whoever participates, mm. and uh, yeah, that's that's the beauty of it. And let's just quickly uh, go through the marketplace again before we go back to the slides. Okay. So. It's like we, we saw it earlier also how the marketplace looks like yeah. uh, like these big big squares yeah and information they're all like applications created by uh, you know uh, created by the community yeah, because peoples. it's an open source uh, project so you can also uh, do it by yeah yourself if, if, you if you want to develop an app and uh, you know it does not uh, stop here you can also uh, go for the enterprise trial version and then see what uh, paid applications OwnCloud provides. Okay. So if you are willing to pay for, you know, having more advanced and more uh, more productivity uh, applications, then you can just go there. But uh, most basic, uh, like for to get your team going, all the apps are available for free here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a lot. Very convenient. Yeah. So you just get a license key for going into enterprise version, and uh, you know you you contact the QNAPS support or you contact the OwnCloud OwnCloud and get your license and get uh, you know like if you are growing from a startup to a big business to a large yeah. enterprise, you you will definitely need more uh, you need to upgrade. Upgrade, yeah, of course you need to upgrade in life every now and then, right? So <laughs> yeah. Let alone for a company. Yeah. And uh, they have all the help uh, available, like all the documentation is available on here. So uh, uh, all the help is provided for the users. Like we work for our users, we work for our customers. So yeah. uh, it's all out there. Now let's uh, go back to the slides. And okay, let's see yeah. what we have. So we're done with so the demo yeah, for and, now. And uh, if users want to know anything, they can just comment on this video, right? Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> most definitely. They can comment. We will reply shortly okay